So it's your boy Marco Lunes. We just cooked it up with Chop Culture. We did two cookups, traditional, just pineapple opus production, just going ham at it, you know? We used FL Studio, samples, wearing pineapple shirts, being a dickhead online, you know, it's regular shit. Filter. All right, so I basically got like all the <clears throat> all, like the little backbone of it And I'm just gonna add like the logistics of it, which would be like a little mastering and then um, we're gonna go over to the To the fruity multi-band compressor get my lows and highs for the little intro and uh, the preset that I'm picking is uh, Noisy neighbors, so it's basically like back in the older fruity loops. It was like a uh, Party next door in the fruity filter and then so see you you're not really hearing anything and then I'm gonna switch these mobs, these knobs. Just do this. And then kind of like my signature now is kind of just like editing the knobs, uh, doing like a create automation clip. Here you can just like mess around really good, and uh, you change your speeds on the LFO, which is where all the creative stuff kind of kind of comes in. And then uh, we're just gonna do like a little eight bar intro, then go crazy with like all the sequencing and stuff. Just do some little spaghetti lines. That's like, that's like my new tag basically without ever using like a, a little signature or whatever. And um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, uh, I like this, just, I pretty much only like the kick part of that. This was just like a starter. So I'm gonna paste the kick, add it right away, like that. And then uh, we're, we're just gonna redo our, our little hi-hats and everything. So, everybody knows the secret. Every four or eight bars, you kinda add your things right here. And then uh, I'm just gonna do that. Do the two for this. I have different pitches on these, so it works a lot better. And then uh, the hi-hats, I have two sets of hi-hats, just like that. Nothing special. Like that, and like that. And then possibly one last one right here. And then uh, I'll get to the rolls in a bit. Just gonna do this, change the volume knob, and then uh, I'm 
I'm gonna find a pitch that works for me. Probably that. Okay. We're gonna do the hi hat rules now. These are these are kind of like the most important parts of like a lot of trap beats these days. It, especially if you're making like anything contemporary, you're always gonna try to do your hi hats. Like these these are like your bread and butter. You do this, and then once you have them selected, you kind of just switch switch the percentage right here until it shows uh, like 152 or something like that. And then we have this, that. Just add random ones really. Kind of like in the intro, probably like chop it up, do your little thing right there, like that. It's probably gonna come out messed up, so we're gonna do it again. Alright, now I just gotta delete this little one, and then that's that's what we're doing. And then uh, a little known, known secret that a lot of people are catching on to is the note find pitch. It's basically just doing what the what the little piano roll would be doing. So you kind of just like switch up the pitch and stuff, and then you do this, and then afterwards let's just build a let's just build another roll just to introduce the next part of it. So you're doing this, and then you're selecting it. Uh, I don't ever chop my own hi hats. I just kind of let the chopper do it, and then you know just uh, change up the use the draw tool just to change up everything. And then we have this. I never go too crazy on it though. And then uh, we do that. Yeah. Alright, so let's see what this is start starting to sound like. So, no sample, just this. And a lot of people know me for my drums. Like, that's what I do with uh, my co producer, Erico. I just do a lot of drums on his stuff. And then uh, let's add a shaker and a perk. Yeah, this is a, this would be like a Playboy Cardi perk right here, and then this is like the regular perk right here that you you could hear anywhere. Uh, Ronnie J, Zaytoven, you'll hear them there. And I believe that the bounce is in your drums. As soon as you quantize everything and add like a natural feel to it, you're right where you should be. And I guess a lot of my drums are kind of like inspired just by like what I'm listening to, what I'm feeling. But uh, if I really had to draw some inspiration, it would probably be like London on the track. He has a really good bounce. Uh, yeah, nothing too spectacular for me on this part. And then uh, we'll do the chants. We'll get them every other. All right, so I basically have most of the beat done. And then uh, I'm just gonna add a reverb to the to the sample, just to, like spice it up a bit. So two of my uh, two of my unofficial signatures would be like uh, adding the wet reverb all the way up, messing with the DK, uh, maybe the delay, it doesn't matter. The high cut, raise it, low cut, don't do anything. Bass, drop it, and then the size, eh, tweak it a little bit. And then of course the bet the key to everything for me is the automation you know maybe just add it like in the very first couple bars and shit and then we have this we have that and then let's see how let's see how it's turning out so now so this is my new drum pattern this is, I have I guess I have two drum patterns now and then we're just gonna copy it over and that should be the whole beat and uh, yeah that's where I guess that's where we're headed so this is like the full beat the sample said it's like a gunna turbo I think his name's turbo and he's like an in-house producer that does a lot of stuff with guitars. So is a uh, Quay. He's a little baby's producer. So let's just listen to this part. Let's see how the beat turned out. And I'm just gonna edit my crashes, so I'm not gonna have them play. Crashes don't ever go too crazy. Just like uh, every like eight bars, you can just do like every 16 if you're really feeling crazy. And then um, yeah, that's where we're at. So here is the full beat. Let me. And then that's our time. Damn, Michael, that's a lot of water.